Hi, hello. Um, it's quite early in the morning and as I was sorting out some of my items around the house, I noticed that this small dress, which I believe would have been from a Disney princess doll, um, was actually broken and crushed. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because if a small girl had obviously been playing with this toy, it's very easy to break and very brittle. So, it would never have been a toy that would have been suitable for anyone under the age of three, or potentially someone who may still put toys into their mouths. Um, straight away, as well as this had been trod on by a child, all these little broken bits could have potentially embedded into the skin, as they would have been quite sharp. So when you are buying toys for your children, especially you know, for birthdays or Christmas, just be aware of what they're made of and how dangerous they could potentially be. Obviously, I never would have thought that a toy like this would have been so easy to break. I mean, this part I have in my hand is actually, ironically, would be the sleeve to the dress that the doll would have gone into. This is the skirt, which again is like a silicon base with a small piece of translucent fabric over it, which was then attached to the bodice, which is obviously made of this more extremely brittle plastic. So if you are looking at buying toys for your children, please be careful and be aware of what they are potentially made of as they may be more dangerous to play with than you think. If I knew definitely where this toy had come from, as I did buy it from a charity shop, I can't say for sure, but I do believe it was probably one of the princess um, dolls from the Disney collection of sorts, then I would have definitely have wrote into them to confirm, hey, you know, I've bought this item and I think it needs to be taken off the shelf and be discontinued. But without really knowing where it originated from, other than the fact that it was probably mass produced in China. Sorry for just then quickly showing the maker model of my PC. Um, then there isn't really anything else I can do other than to just put a warning online. 